Hey YouTube, it's Crystal. Um, I'm coming to you with something new. And it is the new MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF 15 Foundation. And my color is NC45. And I also have the Mineralize Rich Doll. I can't see it before she put the label over top of it. But it's the new lipstick and lux lux natural i don't know if you guys can see it it probably won't focus but it comes in this cute packaging but this is what the lipstick looks like now the lipstick packaging has like an it flares out a little at the bottom and it has a magnetic closure so if you slide it down it snaps shut it's like really neat i know there's probably something stupid to like about it but this is the color you guys can see it and it's very very moisturizing which is a good thing when you put it on it feels so creamy but this is what it looks like if i swatch it on my hand but they have i'm not sure if it was like 20 shades or not but i wanted to show you guys what this does so first i'm just gonna spray my face i haven't moisturized or anything with the um mac mineralized charge water this is skin hydrating mist I'm just going to spray, spray my face with it just to give it a little bit of moisture because you're supposed to do it like before um, you moisturize or whatever. But this is already moisturizing by itself. This is what it looks like. This is the, the packaging. Very neat. And as you can see, it has the same design as um, the lipstick with the flared out bottom. And they're, I guess, supposed to be changing all the packaging for the mineralized products. Um, I already have a mineralized skin finish. Sorry, I'm doing like too many things at once. And mine is in medium dark. Um, the girl used dark on my face yesterday, but at that point I wasn't trying to buy another um, mineralized skin finish. So I'm not going to put on any moisturizer and we'll see how it goes. My skin has been kind of acting funny. I've been dry like around my forehead. And but sometimes I can get oily in my T zone. So what I'm gonna do is put some of the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, and I'm just gonna put it like on my T zone. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how this is gonna look. I haven't tried a tutorial before, but we'll see. And if not, I'll edit out anything. Hopefully, my camera won't cut off. So I'm just gonna put like a dab on my finger. I'm hoping it'll come out. It's not trying to come out. Oh, here it comes. And it's very liquidy, as you can see. If liquidy is a word, but it's. I'm just going to add this on my face. Probably going to need some more. But I'm just going to show you, see, how it blends in and how moisturizing it can be. I'm probably going to need some more. I'm using my Sigma F50. I probably should have bought a brush for MAC, but the brushes are so expensive. That's one thing about them. But I don't want to be too, like, made up. I'm actually going to a baby shower. But I'm going to try a little bit more. But it really gives, like, a dewy, a dewy finish once you apply it. It does give you, like, a dewy finish. Which some people are I'm not sure if I have like a dewy finish yet, but we'll see. I just noticed how like pale my face can be. And this brush probably isn't as stiff. As stiff as the one that they use at MAC. But it seems like it gives like medium to full coverage unless I'm just not using enough. But I'm gonna switch, excuse me. So I will take this brush and kind of buff it in. 
feminine cat there. It's a pretty blue, it's compact, so it actually even looks like you're carrying around your mascara. I like that you're just the best well. because it's really clean. You just take off the lid, cover it. pull out the cat there, and you don't ever it's touch the actual cat. Cat. And when you're done, you just put it back into the container, put the lid on my hairline, a little down my neck. Small supplies last and get your free Cure Twist catheter sample uh, and call to qualify for a free it sample seems to of blend the Cure Twist really system well. catheter. Call or click for your free sample. Call 1-800-358-5875. That's 1-800-358-5875. No, you guys can see. But it blends out rather well. I'm going to go in with concealer anyway. But the finish seems pretty good. I'm going to go down my neck, so. And have to hurry. I'm not going to tell them that. Have to make sure I'm gone. <laughs> That's pretty. I like it. Okay, I'm back. We had a little bit of te technical difficulties. But I was like put the foundation on. I didn't do like a whole bunch because I don't really really use that much foundation but it did pretty good and a lot of other stuff I'm just going to spot with concealer. But next I'm going to take my Prep and Prime highlighter from MAC and this is in Bright Forecast. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to go under my eyes. Get some color down the bridge of my nose and up on my forehead a little bit. Oh, and maybe on the chin because I'm still gonna go in with with concealer and then I'm just gonna blend it. It gives me like a highlighted look. Oh, my eyes tend to be so. Dark, in my opinion. So I really enjoy it. Okay, there you go. Okay. So as you can see, it instantly like brightened up my under eye. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. But it brightened up that area like around my face. We well, want a little bit of light. So I, I tend to, to like that look. It's almost like fell on my eyebrows too. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And I'm just going to use a little brush that's in here. So with the gel. I just got my eyebrows done yesterday. And I've been missing hair like in the same spot for a while and it never tends to grow back. So, just fill them in a little bit. powder that comes in here too to like set it I think I'm just gonna take yes, I can't find my Mac other concealer, the Pro Long Wear, so I'm just gonna try to like go in with this one. Because they tend to want you to go for a warmer feel with concealer. But right now, we're just gonna supplement. I won't be out that long, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to take my Sigma Precision brush to just blend it in a little bit. That doesn't look that bad. 
So, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it work. Alright, I'm gonna in some other little places. Just to fill it in for right now. Real tanks. Whereas and buff everything still. So that doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna do my eye makeup and stuff, but right now I'm not really feeling like doing that on camera. I'm not comfortable with it yet. But I'll try to show you guys the finished look. But this is the foundation right now. Oh, I guess I could try the lipstick on for you guys. I don't know if I'm wearing a new lip. And I don't have a liner on, but I do have something on my lips already. It's just a nice one. Hi, everybody, with the camera got full. But this is actually what the lipstick looks like. And I didn't even have to put that much on. I don't know if you guys can see how shiny and moisturizing it is. I had some Vaseline on my lips already, but I really, really like this lipstick. It's a little on the pricier side. It's more than the regular lipsticks, but... um. I'll try to put the prices below so you guys can see them. But this is what the face looks like so far. And that's pretty much it. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. And the time is about 8.25 this evening. And surprisingly, my face still held up. I had to touch up my under eye a little bit but that was my fault because I should have done my eye makeup before I did my concealer so it kind of like smudged or ran under my eyes especially with the mascara I used I used the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes the new um, mascara in the gold pack and it's like really watery it has a watery consistency so it kind of once I blinked with my lower lashes it kind of like spotted but as you can see foundation held up pretty good i got a little oily around my nose area but that's normal and i had like glasses on personality glasses on earlier so that added to it but once i took it off everything was fine and i think i really like this mineralized foundation so if you guys want to go try it i would recommend it and my color is NC45. I don't know if anybody, any of my subscribers or anybody like that might be my skin tone. But this is a good match and I really, really liked it. So I'll probably update you guys uh, in a couple of days or once I've worn it a couple. Because I don't necessarily wear makeup to work because I go to work too early in the morning. But I'm going to try to use this more often so I can give you guys an update on how much, how good it is. Or if it holds up or anything like that. But so far it's far as a foundation i like it so if you guys get a chance go pick up the mac mineralized what else moisture spf 15 foundation and i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye